Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Breville Juice Fountain Plus Juicer. So Breville is one of the top brands for juicers and so I wanted to go ahead and try this one out to see if it lived up to the hype. All right, so this is a centrifugal juicer which means that it has a spinning blade which breaks down the fruits and vegetables to extract the juice. Something that I really like about centrifugal juicers in general is that they juice a lot quicker and they're usually easier to clean. To start out, I just this is something that works for me, doesn't work for everybody. I like to take this um, end piece over here where all the scraps go, all the pulp goes, and I like to put a plastic baggie in here. Um, that way you can put it in your compost, you can put it in your garden, or whatever you do with your pulp and your scraps. Um, that way it's a lot easier to clean up for this section of it. Let me start out by going through the different pieces of this before we get to juicing. All right, so I really like this safety feature that if this is not locked into place, this machine is not going to turn on, which I feel like is great, especially having kids around, they can't accidentally turn this on and off um, if the safety feature is not locked into place. So this comes off, so it's really easy to do. I really love that this has such a large chute. The larger the chute, the larger the pieces that you can put into the chute. So like you can see, um, I have this half apple here. I can fit this directly into the chute, which makes it so much easier to prep for juicing, which is a huge portion of the time you put into it. Um, it has this top portion. Like I said before, it has this large chute in here. And then right here is the strainer with all the blades down here. It has a lot of different blades and they are really sharp and they do go in different directions right down here, which is great for getting the most juice out of your fruits and vegetables. And then we have um, this piece down here. This is the chute that your juice comes out of. So I'm just gonna put this all back into place. And I love that this is so easy to assemble. So you can see we're done. I'm gonna lock this into place. I'm gonna put the pulp chute in place, just like that. And then something that I really like about this one is it comes with this pitcher and it has measurements down the side. So you can just see about how much juice you're getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. I like that there is no mess. It's not gonna spill out, which is great. As you can see down here, there's a switch. You can select low for your softer fruits and vegetables. Your softer fruits and vegetables are gonna be things like spinach, things that don't really need to be crunched up, and then high down here is gonna be more for things like carrots that are harder, so I like that it has that option. So the fruits and vegetables that I decided to try out, I feel like these are the things I try with all of the juicers that we test out. I am going to do a half an apple. I like to cut them as big as I possibly can to fit into the chute, and I'm so excited that I only had to cut this in half. Um, I always like to try celery because that is something that we juice on the daily, so I really like to see how it stands up to celery and if it um, has a lot of pulp left over or if it doesn't have very much pulp or if the pulp is super wet or dry or whatever. And then I like to try it out on the hardest fruit or vegetable that we typically juice is carrots. And so these are pretty big carrots as you can see and I, it takes a lot of time to chop them up really small, so I do want to see how these handle um, the carrots um, with the motor in here. So let's go ahead and turn it on and get started. All right, so I went ahead and plugged it in. I'm gonna turn it on the hard setting because I'm gonna be doing all hard fruits and vegetables today. So you could tell the motor, it is a little bit louder, but I feel like as far as ease of the vegetables going in, that was that second carrot that I put in was a pretty thick, big carrot. And I have a lot of other juicers that if I were to put that into the chute, it would kind of, you could tell that it's giving the motor a little bit of a harder time. And this, I didn't feel that the motor was working hard at all. It just took it right through, which is a great sign, especially if you're going to be juicing every single day and you're going to be throwing in an assortment of fruits and vegetables. That's a huge plus. So it did great with carrots. That's good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to um, these apples. I'm gonna finish up with the celery. So let's get back started.
wow. I will say that I've used a lot of juicers ranging from cold press juicers to centrifugal juicers, from portable juicers to really large heavy ones. And I feel like this juiced all those fruits and vegetables faster than any of the other juicers would have. I feel like part of it has to do with the large shoot size. Like you saw, I just grabbed a handful of celery and stuck it in there. The big carrots just stuck it in there. Whereas other ones, you might just need to feed them through one by one and then push them down, you know? Um, it's just the whole process. So if you are looking to juice something every day and you need it to be pretty quick, I feel like this is definitely gonna be the juicer for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the juice here. So you can see that all of the fruits and vegetables I had made about, is it 15 ounces of juice here? And you can kind of see they're separated um, a little bit, which is gonna happen. Before I try out the juice and see if there's any pulp and the juice and stuff like that, I always like to see what the pulp looks like the ideal situation is that your pulp is gonna be super dry, but with centrifugal juicers, typically they're more wet than cold press juicers. Um, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit moist, um, but I'm hoping that there's not too much liquid left in the pulp because that means you waste a little bit of the juice from your fruits and vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, I'm gonna just dump some of this out here. All right, so as you can see, there are some celery pieces that got flung into this chute, um, which is gonna happen with some of these centrifugal juicers sometimes, but not much, it's not too bad. You can see there are some chunks in here. I'm gonna um, show you how moist this is. Let's see if I can squeeze a little bit of liquid out of here. So I can squeeze a little bit of liquid out of here. I will say that this is pretty typical for a mid price centrifugal juicer. I'm not too surprised by this. All right, let's go ahead and try the juice. All right, I'm gonna pour it in this glass here. I do like that this pitcher does separate the foam from the juice, which is really nice. So you can see that has a pleasant color, I guess. I guess using green and orange does make it a little bit brown, but um, cheers, I'm gonna give it a try. That's really good. There's not a lot of pulp in here. I'm not getting any chunks, um, which with a lot cheaper juicers, you are going to typically get more chunks that get in, instead of shooting out into the um, pulp area it is going to get into the juice. And I don't feel any pulp in here, which is a really great sign. Yum, it has a really smooth texture. Overall, I'm impressed. All right, so the takeaway from this juicer is it is going to juice your fruits and vegetables super quickly. You're not gonna have any issues with things like carrots and harder fruits and vegetables. And if you're going to be using it daily, I feel like it's a really great option. I can already tell this is not going to be hard to clean um, like some other cold press juicers, for example. So if that works for you, I feel like this is a really great option. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check it out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching, bye.